Hello friends, myself Gaurav Jagdish Pathak and today we will see on the topic of knocking and combustion of SI engine in the subject thermal engineering. As we know the various stages of combustion SI engine and the strokes followed by suction compression, power and exhaust. The typical theoretical pressure crank angle diagram is shown in front of you on the screen at where the various lines of various strokes are represented and with the x-axis we have plotted the crank angle. This Process are plotted on A to B, B to C and C to D as in the ideal four stroke engine of ignition engine. In an ideal engine, it can be seen from diagram that the entire pressure rise during the combustion takes place at the constant volume that is at the TDC, top dead center of the engine. And however, in actual practice, this does not happen. The detailed process of combustion in actual SI engine is described now. If we have to try reach up to the end of the first up to the four complete cycle of rotation of 360 degree, we have to alternate alternative arrangement are provided for somewhat conditions to achieve the actual cycle response. Now, what that we can see that the pressure variable diagram in actual practice is shown in particular front of screen. That is the first portion is ignition lag, second portion is uh, propagation of flame and third, uh, third part is after burning. We have parted a segments of engine flame uh, combustion chain. We have uh, particularly partly uh, segmented it the process of combustion now when the at you can see at point c on the top of uh, peak point of the combustion the first dotted line is represented ignition lag second dotted line represented propagation of flame and third dotted line represented after burning portion friends we have to reach from the cycle the rotations of engine crank and the piston moment in the swept, swept direction from TDC to BDC and the alternative arrangement of combustion takes place we can see how much lagging or how much after burning is takes place during that we have to clear from that we can't use the actual burning moment of the piston which are theoretical but somewhat changes that for uh, our running smooth efficiency of cycle engine we have to prepare that up to 10 degree we have to open uh, inlet uh, exhaust wall and for 30 degree before we have to open intake wall and how it can be achieved we can see and what are the effects due to that we can also check that one by one now the in the second stage it is a physical one and it is connected with the sports of the flame throughout the combustion chamber. The starting of the starting of the point of the second stage, whereas the first number is rise in the pressure and seen in the indicator diagram. During the second stage, the flame propagation is particularly at the constant velocity. And this constant velocity gives the smooth running of engine. Also, the burning of fuel, air fuel mixture is also smooth and it can be reaction rate which is depends upon the mixture composition. See, when fuel is intake through the inlet port into the combustion chamber, it is in the complete form of oxygen, various gases, fuel and air. As we know the phenomenon that for burning we have, we have required oxygen. The starting point of the third stage is usually taken as the instant at which the maximum pressure is reached. When the compression uh, uh, stroke is ended, 
that piston moving from VDC to TDC and this is the starting point of suction inlet. Now, what are the stages or what are the terms and conditions for the conversion process that we have segmented in two uh, process terms, name wise normal conversion and abnormal conversion. A conversion process which is initiated solely by the time spark and it can be flame front moves completely across the combustion chamber in the uniform manner that is normal velocity and at the same time abnormal combustion is a combustion process in which the flame front may be started by not combustion chamber surface and after prior to the after spark ignition. Friends, why we are studying this, all these phenomena? That is, what are the actual cycle process process in the uh, running of IC engine? That's why, what are the effects, what are the causes and what are the outcome for us while cycle is actual uh, processing in this? As we have to keep in mind that the temperature in the combustion chamber is reaches up to 1400 degrees Celsius and to handle and tackle the fuel which is already the temperature it is a self it is above the self ignition temperature of the fuel that's why all condition must be in control situation that's why how we study the running of smooth economical and efficient outcomes from the ic engine now the main part of the ic engine smooth running that is the spark knock a knock means the audible sound that we can hear with the, our ear while running the engine. A knock which is recurrent and responsible in terms of audibility that is controlled by the spark advance. Advancing the spark increases the knock intensity and reduces the spark reduces in the its intensity. Actually, the knock is the name given by as noise. It is the very audible noise come from the engine and what are the causes and what he can be transmitted through which parts of engine. It is directly transferred from the structure of the engine and when essentially spontaneous ignition of the portion of the end gases, the fuel air res res residual gases mixture ahead of propagation of flame. When the unburn and burn fuel mixes at the end of compression stroke the ignition started and that spark that spark and burns the unburned fuel some particles remains there after the exhaust stroke and they are remains there and they are mixes with the new fresh fuel particles and they also get ignited and rush up into the uh, combustion chamber and that's why that audible sound is created. Now we can see the surface ignition. The surface ignition is the ignition of the fuel air charge by any hot surface and other than the spark discharge prior to the arrival of the normal flame point. It may be occurs before the spark ignited charge and or after the normal ignition of the spark charge. Surface ignition is the ignition of fuel mixture by the hot spot of the combustion chamber walls such as overheaded walls and spark plug. The ignition system is designed to ignite the air and fuel that have been mixed with the fuel system. Now, if we can provide the pre-ignition or up in during the ignition, the fuel comes into the combustion chamber and it mixes, I have already explained, it mixes with the pre-burned uh, pre fuel and it can be burned with the new fuel and that, that is the way the mixture of pre-burned and pre after burn fuel is created and that's why the complete control by improvement of combustion is occur and that stage create the combustion of fuel. Now, the causes of pre-ignition we can conclude one by one. The first cause of uh, pre-ignition is carbon deposited from the 
हिट बैरियर्स एंड कैन बी कंट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर टू बी प्री इग्निशन सेकेंड वन पॉइंट इज ग्लो ग्लोइंग ऑफ कार्बन डिपॉजिटेड ऑन द हॉट एग्जॉस्ट चेम्बर्स एंड द शार्प एजेस ऑफ द कम्बर्शन चेम्बर ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द पिस्टन द शार्प एजेस ऑन द वॉल्स दैट वे आर रेगुलेटेड इम प्रॉपरली एंड इंजिन दैट इज रनिंग इन हॉटर दैन नॉर्मल ड्यू टू द कूलिंग सिस्टीम द प्रॉब्लम ऑकर ऑटो इग्निशन इंजिन इज ऑल्सो डिप्रेशन नाव वॉट इज द एक्चुअल नॉकिंग फेनामेना द दिस इज वन ऑफ द प्रोसेस दैट हैपन्स विद इन द कम्बर्शन चेम्बर एंड इट इज द सोर्स लाइक स्मॉल टिकिंग और रैटिंग नॉइज विद इन द इंजिन इन द लॉन्ग टर्म द पोजि द पिस्टन एंड रिंग कैन बी डैमेज एज वेल एज द स्पार्क प्लग एंड वॉल्व ऑल्सो डैमेज अनादर नेम ऑफ नॉकिंग इज डिटोनेशन वी कैन कॉल नॉकिंग और डिटोनेशन नॉकिंग फेनामेना इज यू कैन सी इन द फ्रंट ऑफ युअर स्क्रीन दैट इज वेन द स्पार्क प्लग इज इग्नाइट द स्पार्क एंड द वॉल्स ऑपरेटेड इन द सर्मवॉट कंडीशन द अनबर्न एंड बर्न फ्यूएल आर मिक्सेस विथ ईच अदर एंड द फ्लेम इन फ्रंट ऑफ इग्निशन इज लो ऑक्टेन गैसोलिन and the part particular shown in the dotted region that causes the knocking effect abo explain figure exactly shows that what happen inside the combustion chamber when knocking occurs when the spark fires ignite the air fuel mixture and the flame burn shortly after the ignition the second expansion and ignition fuel takes place on the other side of combustion chamber and this flame front produces the low octane fuel combusting or burning too early when these two energy fronts hits each other they causes the pigning or knocking within the engine do you got my point knocking is created due to the pre burn and fresh fuel mixing ignition and that is burning causes the sound of knocking it is the clearly audible sound and it can be happen to control to control the smooth running we cannot demolish or deny the sound of knocking each and every vehicle which can be running with the help of ic engine it get uh, the suffer from that particular problem called detonation or knocking knocking is usually caused by poor quality of fuel and there are number of uh, other ways also that why knocking occurs when it can be depends upon the various factors like fuels property the control temperature the cooling pressure the running pressure the rpm of the engine that are on the position the conditions of weather also affect the knocking effect now we can see what are the actual anti knocking fuel in the temperature of start burning See friends, there are the graphical representation in front of the screen that detail knocking of the cylinder pressure and functional time of typical SI engine combustion chamber. You can see the various cylindrical pressures and the time they are plotted and how knocking uh, sound is created after the at the reducing period of the vehicle or the engine RPM while reducing the knocking sound is created. now what are the main effects of knocking that it drops the engine performance it is the most di- most uh, disadvantages of knocking that it reduces the performance of particular engine and the pollution of the gases from the combustion is incomplete now we have see that due to unburned fuels and fresh fuel incoming from the new fresh from the carburetor or supply chain that will be mixes and the sound of knocking is created that's why the pollution of the gases from the combustion is increased now the third point is high com- consumption of fuel due to the mixing of fresh fuel and uh, un- uh, unburned fuel they get mixes and that why our ignition uh, fuel consumption is also increases how to reduce the knocking problem during the engine process we can see the ignition 
the increase the ignition combustion engine to reduce the heat final consumption and to use high quality of fuel that will be very acceptable by the uh, ic engine and increase the ignition of combustion engine also reduce the heat rate of combustion now we can check what are the period of heat burning after burning that is that means if we are start we, we are studying in actual wall timing diagram we can see that we are studying for 10 degree up to 10 degree intake wall is open after the final stroke and before 30 degree we are opening the intake wall now period of after burning is that particular 10 degree rotation of uh, crank that is the intake wall is open that open wall is also takes the unburned fuel particle only not only fuel particle there is the gas particle there is the air oxygen and the various carbon carbon uh, particles that are in unburned conditions and at the same time there is the mixing of new fresh fuel air fuel mixture is come inside the particular uh, chamber that is uh, that is we can say as uh, combustion chamber the combustion does not ease with the completion of the injection process and the unburned and particularly burned particles left in the combustion chamber and that start burning as soon as the stroke will be completed this process continues for the certain duration and this particular time is called after burning now the phenomenon of knocking is occur due to that particular things we can see that the unburned and burned fuels are mixes now in si engine knocking occurs near the end of combustion whereas in the si engine knocking is our after the beginning of combustible in order to decrease the tendency of knocking it is necessary to start the actual burning as early as possible and after the injection period but in actual practice for smooth running of engine this process cannot be happen directly in other words it is necessary to decrease the ignition delay and this decrease in amount of fuel present when the actual burning of the first deposited is started that's all about the knocking friends we are meet in the another topic also thank you very much thanks